Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So almost a year ago, I let you know that Microsoft had placed a safeguard hold on some devices trying to upgrade to Windows 11 24H2, which was last year's annual feature update. And just a quick recap for this video, Microsoft had mentioned Intel and Microsoft had found incompatibility issues with certain versions of drivers for Intel Smart Sound Technology, Intel SST for short, on Intel 11th Gen Core processors and Windows 11 version 24H2. And that was exactly the same as what I'm running on this device, an 11th Gen Intel Core processor with Intel SST audio drivers and drivers. Now, as I've mentioned previously, it was affecting my screen recorder. Whenever I launched my screen recorder, especially in the early days, it would blue screen and crash my system and was quite a frustrating headache, especially due to trying to make videos and the screen recorder crashing all the time. Now, Microsoft mentioned that devices running version 24H2 with the affected Intel SST driver might receive an error with a blue screen, as mentioned. And the affected driver is the Intel Smart Sound Technology audio controller and is listed under System Devices in Device Manager. So if we head to our legacy device manager, just to show you, just to show you what I'm talking about, if we head to sound video and game controllers, here we go. Intel SST, Intel SST, Intel SST. And the issues were affecting driver version 10.29.0.5152 or 10.30.0.5152 where the issue was occurring. And it was only affecting 11th gen core processors which I'm running on this device. And then obviously to safeguard the so-called update experience as Microsoft likes to call it, it had applied a compatibility hold on Windows devices which have those versions of the Intel SST driver and drivers installed and the update for Windows 11 24H2 would not be offered through Windows Update. So that's just a brief overview as to what this issue was. As mentioned, has been affecting me and giving me quite a couple of headaches over the last year or so. Now the important bit for this video is Microsoft has said that the issue now has been resolved. And Microsoft mentions that devices which are encountering this issue will need to install newer versions of the Intel SST audio controller drivers prior to updating to Windows 11 version 24H2. And the issue is resolved, Microsoft says, by updating the Intel Smart Sound Technology drivers to version 10.30.0.5714 and later or 10.29.0.5714 and later. And if we head to one of my drivers, we can see I'm on 10.29.0.9677. So I have the updated drivers installed now on this device. And Microsoft has said for the purpose of addressing this issue, 1030 versions are not newer than 10.29 versions. So either or 1030 or 10.29 with 5714 and later should resolve the issue. Microsoft carries on to say, for most users, updated drivers can be installed via the Windows Update page by checking for Windows Updates on your device. And this is the preferred method of installing these and other drivers. And if your device still encounters the safeguard hold 48 hours after updating your drivers, Microsoft says it's possible drivers for this audio controller haven't been developed for your specific device hardware configuration. And if this is the case, you will need to contact your device manufacturer OEM for more information on the necessary drivers and so on. And this was only affecting Windows 11 24H2. And Microsoft says that once you have updated a compatible version of the Intel Smart Sound Technology drivers, you should be able to upgrade to Windows 11 version 24H2. And as I always say, it could take up to 48 hours. So if you want to get your hands on 24H2 just before the rollout of 25H2, possibly this week, then I would suggest restarting your device, which will hurry up the process, come back and then check for updates again. And then you might be offered 24H2 if you were experiencing this issue. 
And as mentioned, about a year ago, I forced 24H2's update because I had to update for the purpose of this channel to keep you guys posted. Now, with all that said and done, at the end of the day, although I have the latest drivers installed or newer versions that will prevent this issue, I'm still scratching my head because Microsoft says this has been resolved and already on two occasions today, my screen recorder, starting my screen recorder up, testing if the issue is resolved, has blue screened my device. So I'm still scratching my head with this one. Microsoft says it's resolved, but I've, because I've already experienced two blue screens or black screens now, as it's now referred to, before even posting this video, launching my screen recorder. So for me, I'm still saying the issue is not resolved, but according to Microsoft, the issue is resolved. Maybe you have better luck than me. And just wanted to put it out there because this has been a long-standing known issue. So just to let you know that the issue now has been resolved. So if we head to the calendar, that was on Friday last week, the 26th, according to Microsoft and a new entry over on the Known Issues Health Dashboard page online. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.